Today I'm making a video showcasing the computer I use for emulation. To my surprise, when I clicked on the link for it, it was on sale for $270. Normally it costs around $350, which is an awesome price for what it can do gaming-wise, so jump on it while it is still available cheap. I didn't have to adjust any of the computer settings in order to get things working, so on the computer side, it's plug and play. I'll be playing almost all the burnout games using the Bateau Serra front end, making verbal notes as we go along such as upscaling, etc. Enjoy! First up we have the original burnout game played on the GameCube emulator. Upscaled to 1080p, the gameplay is quite smooth and the computer had no issues playing it.
Next up, we have Burnout being played on the PlayStation 2 emulator. Upscaled to 1080p, it runs smooth as well with no issues. Now we have Burnout being played on the Xbox emulator. This plays smoothly, but all is not what it seems when it comes to this particular emulator, as you'll see soon. Thank you. 
Moving on to Burnout 2 Point of Impact. I'm using the GameCube emulator upscaled to 1080p, again, running smoothly on this computer.
Here's Burnout 2 running smoothly on the PlayStation 2 emulator. Upscaled to 1080p, the computer is handling it just fine.
Here's where we run into our first problem, and it's not computer related. Burnout to using the Xbox emulator just runs slow no matter if you upscale it or not. Definitely on the emulator side. From here on out, Nintendo will not be making an appearance until the end of this video. The PlayStation 2 emulator is running Burnout 3 takedown quite nicely. No issues here.
What's up, guys? You're listening to Striker on Crash FM. Just need a few minutes of your time to cover the rules of the burnout road. To succeed in burnout, you need to be winning races, but you're not going to win races unless you take risks. The big reward? That's easy. You earn boost. Using boost gives your vehicle a speed boost. And you can use Boost at any time to keep you in the heart of the action. Here's the lowdown. Risks can be taken anywhere in the burnout world. Take risks, you get reward. Get it? Near misses with other cars. Driving on the wrong side of the road. Drifting around corners. Tailgating your rivals. Escaping crashes. And so it goes on. You can even string these together to get two or more happening at the same time. Okay, so earning boost is one thing, but to win, you need to steal it. Battle with your competitors by rubbing, slamming, shunting, and grinding with them. You'll get a quick boost fix and you can use it immediately to mix things up. If you want to take a bigger risk, try taking down your competition. Takedowns are when you wipe out one of your rivals, and if you do it, you'll grow your boost and fill it. But if you get taken down, your boost bar gets taken down too. Okay, something new is Crash Aftertouch. If and when you crash, activate Impact Time. When you are in Impact Time, you can steer your wreck. How cool is that? Use Crash Aftertouch to gain Aftertouch takedowns or to help you get to the places other crashers can't reach. That was a public service announcement brought to you by Crash FM. Once again, the Xbox emulator fails us with just showing a black screen with sound. I may need to do some research to see if there's a fix for this, but as of right now, it's not working correctly. Not the computer's fault this time either.
EA Games. Challenge everything. EA Games. Challenge everything. We are the lazy channel. Now we have Burnout Revenge playing on the PlayStation 2 emulator. Upscaled to 1080p, this thing rocks. Looking good and taking names, this computer has not failed yet. You're tuned to Crash FM. Welcome back to the world of burnout. This time, everyone's out for revenge. revenge. It's taken event organizers over a year to find the ultimate locations to fight and crash. Competitors will be charging hard through those newly scouted routes. You're gonna have to stay sharp, because this time they feature alternates, shortcuts, and big air opportunities. We'll be going coast to coast in North America, heading east from Bangor Valley. Then swinging by the technical back roads of Lone Peak. And the industrial landscapes of Motor City. Make way for the super fast freeway at Sunshine Keys. It's a Revenge World Tour, remember? So we get to rip it up right through the heart of Europe. Dangerous curves of White Mountain. Make way for the cobbled streets of Eternal City. Buckle up, people. And of course, we get to go long haul. Or the right side of the road is the wrong side of the road. Through the neon-filled nighttime Eastern Bay, then tear through the urban hills of the awesome Central Route. Without a doubt, abilities will be pushed to the max on the Revenge World Tour. Now, for the first time in burnout competition, same way traffic is there to be nailed. We call it checking traffic. Checking traffic. It's not just the rules and events. All the rides are different, too. Gentlemen, start your engines. New competitors have entered the burnout circuit. Local talent will mix it up with the hottest burners from last year. Check out the hot new GP action, where the very best of the hometown racers duke it out with those from out of state. Brand new to the racing action this year is the destructive crash breaker event. If you get taken out, detonate your vehicle for explosive revenge. for this year is the new Eliminator format. Don't get caught in last place when the timer gets to zero. 
Road Rage, the crowd favorite, is back and even better than before. We'll be pitting competitors up against Rage rivals with some surprises thrown in for good measure. You better be prepared. prepared. One of a kind custom designed crash courses for the ultimate in destruction. Drivers are gonna have to blow it up huge to win these new events. Survey the landscape, master the launch control, conquer the wind, and power up your crash breakers. If you're lucky, you'll take down the bonus target car in a devastation. You gotta love it. The newest competition on the world circuit is a thrash through the traffic-filled streets. Check the traffic and get your revenge on rush hour. And remember, the clock is ticking. Enough talk. Time to drive. Keep it locked to Crash FM. Traffic? Good, because it's time to get revenge on rush hour. Burnout style. Slam and shunt same way traffic to score points. But avoid direct hits with oversized oncoming and cross traffic. Use the smaller size traffic to hit them instead. Keep an eye on the time. You'll get a chunk of time free. But when you get down to 20 seconds, you gotta smash the traffic to keep the clock ticking. Wreck the most cars to beat the traffic attack targets.
Burnout Revenge on the Xbox emulator plays jittery, and the video just couldn't catch up with the sound even when I downscaled it. More work needs to be done with this emulator. You're tuned to Crash FM. Welcome back to the world of burn. It's time everyone's out for revenge. You're tuned to Crash FM. Welcome back to the world of burn. This time, everyone's out for revenge. Mm -hmm. It's taken event organizers over a year to find the ultimate locations to fight and crash. Competitors will be charging hard through those newly scouted routes. You're gonna have to stay sharp, because this time they feature alternates, shortcuts, and big air opportunities. We'll be going coast to coast in North America, heading east for Vangel Valley. Then swinging by the technical back roads of Lone Peak. And the industrial landscapes of Motor City. Make way for the super fast freeway at Sunshine Keys. It's a it's revenge, revenge world, world tour, remember? So we get to rip it up right through the heart of Europe. Dangerous curves of White Mountain. Make way for the cobbled streets of Eternal City. Buckle up, people. And of course, we get to go long haul. Where the right side of the road is the wrong side of the road. Through the neon-filled nighttime Eastern Bay then tear through the urban hills of the awesome Central Route. Without a doubt, abilities will be pushed to the max on the Revenge World Tour. Now, for the first time in burnout competition, same way traffic is there to be nailed. We call it checking traffic. Checking traffic. It's not just the rules and events. All the rides are different, too. Gentlemen, start your engines. New competitors have entered the burnout circuit. Local town will mix it up with the hottest burners from last year. Check out the hot new GP action, where the very best of the hometown racers duke it out with those from out of state. Brand new to the racing action this year is the destructive crash breaker events. If you get taken out, detonate your vehicle for explosive revenge. For this year is the new Eliminator format. Don't get caught in last place when the timer gets to zero. Road Rage, the crowd favorite, is back and even better than before. We'll be pitting competitors up against Rage rivals with some surprises thrown in for good measure. You better be prepared. There. One-of-a-kind, custom-designed crash courses for the ultimate in destruction. Drive
survivors are gonna have to blow it up huge to win these new events. Survey the landscape, master the launch control, conquer the wind, and power up your crash breakers. If you're lucky, you'll take down the bonus target car in the devastation. You gotta love it. The newest competition on the world circuit is a thrash through the traffic-filled streets. Check the traffic and get your revenge on rush hour. And remember, the clock is ticking. Enough talk. Time to drive. Keep it locked. Crash FM. Ironically enough, Burnout Revenge plays quite nicely on the Xbox 360 emulator. No upscaling needed. Tiny jumps here and there, but it doesn't mess with the gameplay. For an entire console generation, people have experienced burnout in the only way it's been possible. But if you've only played it this way, you haven't experienced it at all. Burnout has now entered the era of high definition. So buckle up. Ready for revenge. It's taken event organizers over a year to find the ultimate locations to fight and crash. Competitors will be charging hard through alternate routes, finding shortcuts, and taking big air opportunities. We'll be going coast to coast in North America on the Revenge World Tour. Ripping through the heart of Europe, and of course, we go long haul, where the right side of the road is the wrong side of the road. In Asia, start your engine. For the first time in burnout competition, same way traffic is there to be nailed. We call it checking traffic. We've made an all new competition of it in the traffic filled streets of the World Tour. Smash through the rush hour traffic and traffic attack. But just remember, the clock is ticking. Also brand new to the racing action this year are the destructive crash breaker events. If you get taken out, detonate your vehicle for explosive revenge. There's a fresh new eliminator format. Just don't get caught in last place when the timer gets to zero. Road Rage, the crowd favorite, is back and even better than before. And for your destructive pleasure, check out the one-of-a-kind, custom-designed crash courses. Drivers are going to have to blow it up huge to win these new events. Survey the landscape, master the launch control, conquer the wind, and power up your crash breaker. If you're lucky, you'll take down the bonus target car in the devastation. As an added bonus, we've created 10 all-new crash events for you to master in this all-new Revenge Edition. Be sure to try them out on the tour. Total devastation. You gotta love it. With all this burnout action going on, we've made it possible for you to save your wildest moments and share them with other burners worldwide. And when you tussle with another burner online, we'll tell you exactly who came out better off when you last wrangled. Welcome to Take Down Heaven. Enough time. Time to drive. Keep it locked to Crash FM.
Burnout Legends on the PlayStation Portable runs way better than I expected. Upscaled to 1080p, this mashup of earlier Burnout games looks nice using this computer. Now this is the game that fans do not talk about. I didn't even take the time to separate the windows correctly, because I have no interest in playing it. Burnout Legends on the DS does play though, if you want to go that route, but there are much better Burnout games to play. Here's Burnout Dominator for the PlayStation Portable Emulator. Upscaled to 1080p, it looks great. Dominator is all about owning the track and dominating your rivals. If you want to get ahead in this game, you'll need to take risks. That means using the streets to your advantage and the traffic like an old friend. First off, 
you need to know about boost. Driving dangerously earns you boost. Tailgate rivals, drift around corners, drive on the wrong side of the road, and near miss the traffic. You can also steal boost from rivals by slamming, shunting, and rubbing. That earn the most by making them crash. We call this a takedown. Max out your boost bar, hit boost, and burn it all in one. This is a burn burner. Taking risks while burning refills your boost bar. Earn enough, and you will perform a burnout boost chain. Get a long chain going and really dominate the track. But beware, you can only earn while you burn if your boost is burning blue. We know there are times when a smash can't be avoided. So, while you're crashing, activate impact time. Next up is Burnout Dominator using the PlayStation 2 emulator. Once again, the emulator performs flawlessly, as does the computer. Dominator is all about owning the track and dominating your rivals. If you want to get ahead in this game, you'll need to take risks. That means using the streets to your advantage and the traffic like an old friend. 
First off, you need to know about boost. Driving dangerously earns you boost. Tailgate rivals, drift around corners, drive on the wrong side of the road, and near miss the traffic. You can also steal boost from rivals by slamming, shunting, and rubbing. But earn the most by making them crash. We call this a take down. Max out your boost bar, hit boost, and burn it all in one. This is a burn and burn. Taking risks while burning refills your boost bar. Earn enough, and you will perform a burnout boost chain. Get a long chain going and really dominate the track. But beware, you can only earn while you burn if your boost is burning blue. We know there are times when a smash can't be avoided. So, while you're crashing, activate impact time. And use aftertouch to steer your car into the path of oncoming rivals. And don't forget, We've kept a little extra for when you really need it. Time it right and activate Crash Break for the ultimate explosive payback. Combine Aftertouch with Crash Breaker to take down the rivals you otherwise couldn't reach. Keep your eyes open for signature shortcuts. Take down a rival in the right place and you'll unlock a whole new way to burn around the track. Now you know the basics. Let the domination And now for the nitty gritty, Burnout Paradise plays absolutely great on the PS3 emulator. Upscaled to 1080p, it has no issues.
Guys at the junkyard are real experts and they rate every car they get for top speed, boost power and strength. If you've lucked out in a race, switch to a faster car. If you're feeling the pain in road rage or marked man events, go for something a little more durable. I'm the ever helpful DJ Atomica and you're tuned to Crash FM. Drive southwest to the Naval Yard. The clock is ticking. Awesome driving. You nailed that burning route. Have a Hunter Manhattan Custom to add to your growing car collection. Burnout Paradise initially starts using the Xbox 360 emulator, but freezes up no matter which emulator I try. This might be another case where there's a workaround for it, but just out of the box, it's not working properly. Welcome to Paradise City, the home of burnout driving. From the winding trails of White Mountain to the grid network of downtown Paradise, the city has miles of open road. Explore everything at your leisure. This is unlike any driving experience you've ever had. 
Every road in Paradise City is a challenge. We record your fastest time and largest crash on each road. When you want some real action, pull up at the traffic lights and spin your wheels. Every intersection is a new adventure. Events in Paradise City finish at one of eight locations, one for each point of the compass. North of the city is the Country Club, the Coast Guard HQ in the Northeast, the Waterfront Plaza on the East Coast. In the Southeast, it's the Wildcats Baseball Stadium, the Naval Yard in the South Bay, Lone Stallion Ranch southwest of the city, the Wind Farm in the West Hills, and in the Northwest Mountains, it's the Observatory. As a newcomer to the city, you've been granted a learner's permit. Winning events earns you a mark on your license. When you win enough, we'll upgrade your license and give you a new car. The world is full of surprises. We'll keep you updated as you drive. What happens next is completely up to you. Welcome to Paradise City, the home of burnout driving. From the winding trails of White Mountain to the grid network of downtown Paradise, the city has miles of open road. Explore everything at your leisure. This is unlike any driving experience you've ever had. Every road in Paradise City is a challenge we record your fastest time and largest crash on each road. When you want some real action, pull up at the traffic lights and spin your wheels. Every intersection is a new adventure. Events in Paradise City finish at one of eight locations, one for each point of the compass. North of the city is the Country Club, the Coast Guard HQ in the Northeast, the Waterfront Plaza on the East Coast, in the southeast, it's the Wildcats Baseball Stadium, the Naval Yard in the South Bay, Lone Stallion Ranch southwest of the city, the Wind Farm in the West Hills, and in the Northwest Mountains, it's the Observatory. As a newcomer to the city, you've been granted a learner's permit. Winning events earns you a mark on your license. When you win enough, we'll upgrade your license and give you a new car. The world is full of surprises. We'll keep you updated as you drive. What happens next is completely up to you. The PC version of Burnout Paradise has huge graphical glitches, but I feel as though this is Bateau Sarah's fault. Running the same game on the computer itself without Bateau Sarah makes it run fine.
so the gaming console mob doesn't come after me. This is Burnout Paradise Remastered running on the console that shall not be named. Upscaled to 1080p, this thing looks gorgeous. Running smoothly as well. It's Atomica here on Crash FM. You know, one of the great things about Paradise City is you don't need a garage at your house. Because you can stash your whole collection of cars in any of the local junkyards. Just drop by the nearest one and slip into something that suits your driving style. Survive the drive northeast to the waterfront plaza. That's all I have for today. Sorry about the long video, but I wanted the video to speak for itself as to the performance of this computer. Feel free to ask any questions below, and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.